hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is marion today's video i am trying out some new makeup the makeup isn't new to the market or the makeup scene but they're new to me except maybe one or two products that have recently been released but if you would like to see how i accomplish this look get the tea get my thoughts on these products then you know stay tuned but before i jump into this video do not forget to like comment and of course subscribe all right so i have some new items that may not be new to the market but they're new to me some of them are new some of them are not so um i will be dipping into the items that i got from mac i showed those items in a haul so i might not go into everything Ooh, sorry i might not go into everything that i got from mac but pretty much majority of the items and then i have a couple of things from ulta is this table is a hot mess um and sephora i have the laura mercier translucent honey pressed powder definitely using that today and then from sephora also i have the huda beauty lip blush creamy lip and cheek stain and berry kiss i can use this as a blush but we'll figure it out the other items in here are, are like my makeup eraser or whatever so you can ignore that and then i have another blush from colourpop this is in papaya um the elf halo glow liquid filter um have this and then i think that is it um i have the sunscreen this is the black girl sunscreen in the little mermaid packaging for the movie thought that was cute so you want to support black owned brand and it's you know little mermaid go get that um i need to go get another one because i don't know how long the packaging will look like that and that is basically the only sunscreen that i use but enough of me rambling let's get into trying out this stuff so I did put primer on, but I really don't know if this strobe cream is supposed to be a primer or just illuminating. Oh, it's a radiant moisturizer that hydrates and boosts the appearance of dull and flat and tired looking skin. Doubling as a liquid highlighter, it illuminates. Oh no, I don't want it as a liquid highlighter, so I might put a little on as moisturizer. And then I have this Halo Liquid filter i don't know if this is you wear it alone or under or over makeup mixed with foundation or as highlight so i don't want to like look too glowy i'm thinking that i'll use the mac one another time and to dip into this me and elf have like a love hate relationship so i have on the huda beauty um jelly water jelly this is like a primer but to me in my mind it's just um a gel moisturizer i don't see the priming you know properties of it or what it's supposed to do um i haven't done my brows yet i don't know i'm gonna do that last or whatever actually i'm all over the place let me just go ahead and knock these out real quick okay my eyebrows are doing their own thing today so i'm just gonna let it be and just go into this see what this is about so have anybody used this um this is a big dofa applicator let's see So I rubbed this in with my hand. Um, I didn't show you guys because I was interrupted by my kids, but um, it's extremely glowy. 
Um, so I personally would not wear it by itself. I mean, it's not real, real bad, but I can just see the difference between where it's glowy and then my skin. Um, Cause I just didn't rub it all the way up there. You can definitely just see how in certain areas it's so illuminating. Um, I'm already going through some things with my skin. Don't know why, get stress or whatever, but um, it's not a bad product. It's supposed to be like a dupe to the Charlotte Tilbury when this one, this one is more affordable for sure. But I'm still going to go in with foundation. I'm going to do that real quick and then come back and we can move on to the next product. Okay, so foundation is on, concealer is on. Gonna move on to trying out the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Luminous Perfecting Pressed Powder, Translucent Honey. Um, let's see what this looks like. This is the outside packaging, and this is what the shade. Ooh. That's what the shade looks like. It's um, a yellowy shade. I don't know if the camera is really reflecting the true color of it. Now it is very illuminating. Um, let me swatch it. So I like to go into pressed powders using a brush. I'm gonna use the Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is actually a foundation brush, but the way the shape of it is, I feel like it fits perfectly up under the eye. So I'm just going to dab the excess off and see what it does. So this is very illuminating. I don't know if this is meant for being under the eye or maybe I should Set my under eye first with a different powder, then go in with that. Let's try it with this one because this here, it just looks like yellow glitter. I don't like that. So I'm setting that and maybe if I go over this with that, it'll tone that down. Maybe it's not meant to use up under the eye like that as to set, but just to brush over. Who knows? So, okay. Putting the Charlotte Tilbury over this, and this eye has kind of like calmed it down. But over here, I don't know if I'm really a fan of this. It might be going back to the store. Or maybe I should look up how this is supposed to be used. Let's see. So according to Sephora's website, it's saying use a powder brush, sweep up real flawless pressed powder, tap off any excess and apply all over the face for a smooth and even application. Apply the powder as the last step of makeup application. So this isn't even supposed to go under the eyes. It says for a natural highlight sweep, the powder across your cheekbones, nose, bridge, and any other points of your face for a warm glow so it's not supposed to go under the eyes so and i can see that now i guess i should have read the you know how to use first so um i guess i'll try this as an all over um face powder so next product is the mac skin finish sunstruck matte bronzer can i talk and i got this in deep golden and you would have saw my mac haul hopefully you saw it if not you know i will link it somewhere in the video if i can remember i always be forgetting sometimes but let's just see what this does it's very pigmented it's picking up well and it's not as powdery as some bronzers are so let's see Okay, it is showing up. I was afraid that it wasn't going to show up on my skin, but okay. Oh, 
I like the fact that it's not overpowering and I feel like this can be built up. Um, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I love the actual shade of it. It doesn't look too orangey on me and it's giving me that sun kissed look that I've been wanting from bronzers. A lot of times my bronzers are either a little too red or look more like contour, but this one is like right on the money. So, okay, Mac. So while that is doing what it needs to do, I have the Whitney Houston Nipsey Plum Rose from the Whitney Houston and Mac collection. And then I have the ColourPop and Papaya. Let's look at both. So this is what this one looks like. And this one here is definitely very light. So I think I want to go with the Whitney Houston just to look a little bit um, slightly mature today. Okay, so it is definitely pigmented. And it just it's stuck right here. I don't know if you can see it real good, but it literally looked like I have a bruise on my face. Like someone just knocked me out. I think it's sticking to the translucent powder. So camera one dead. Okay, so the next item that I wanted to try out today was the Huda Beauty Lip Blush. Um, I don't know how many shades there are. I will list it down below. And it's like her standard Q packaging, the component. And let's see what this is supposed to look like. So this is what the applicator looks like. And I noticed that brands are starting to have like the reddish applicator. And I guess it's kind of good so it won't stain but this is the shade and let me just line my lip real quick and then we're gonna see what this looks like so i have the rare beauty lip pencil in wise so i think that that'll work good This is actually darker than what I expected it to be. Okay, I'm back. I just did a little bronzer on my eyes and some mascara. And so far, I do not like the way my lips look. So I'm going to use the MAC Lip Glass and Spice to kind of like do something with it. I'm thinking that this need to be used on top of like a lipstick or something. It's just like, I feel like it's very splotchy and just patchy on my lips and I don't like that. I feel like that helped me a little bit. Well, not just a little bit, a lot. Um, so I'm gonna try this pressed powder one last time and just give my entire face a little glow. I'm not gonna go ham with this cause I'm a little nervous. Um, yeah, let's talk about this look and my thoughts. Cause I feel like I look like, <sighs> I'm not giving my best. So, first things first. This here, I like it. I would definitely use it again. I think I'm gonna try to use it like as a highlighter um, versus all over my face. You know, do some experimenting. But so far, so good. One good thing about it, it did not clash with my foundation. It did not change the tone of my foundation. It did not make it hard for my, me to apply my foundation. So that is a plus. So 
definitely definitely love that next thing this laura mercier real flawless luminous perfecting pressed powder in translucent honey this is not for me because i'm just not into like very highlighted luminous looks um i just don't want to look sparkly that's just not my ministry so this will be going back because this costs too much for me to just keep in my collection and knowing that i'm not going to use it so definitely returning that and getting something else next up is the bronzer love the bronzer i mean what more can i say i can either get a deeper shade or just continue to rock this one but it blends perfectly it's buildable it's not patchy it's the right undertone it just it does what it needs to do and i just love the packaging it is so cute it is so glam so if you want to try anything new from mac get this bronzer i feel like you would love it another item i tried from mac this is a new this is from the whitney houston collection this is nipsey's plum rose powder blush it is very pigmented and it's still like it was hard for me to blend out on this side and i'm honestly thinking it's because of the pressed powder so i really can't just say i don't like this because on this side it's perfectly fine so i feel like right here it's just not working well because of that powder so i'm gonna give it a go one more time just to you know confirm that it wasn't the blush but the powder but the shade i like it's very pigmented so if you want to try this get it because i think it's 50 percent off right now next thing that i had got is the lip blush from Huda Beauty, I don't like it. I, I'm still gonna return it because it's not for me. And I don't think that there's anything that I can do to make it work. It just did not look right on my lips whatsoever. So that is going to go back. I had to put on the MAC lip glass for it to, you know, work on my face. So those were all of the items that I picked up that are new to me. May not be new to, you know, makeup scene, beauty scene, but I just wanted to try them out with you guys and just give you my first impressions. Um, I keep looking in the mirror because all I see is this blush spot right here that just look like I just got sucker punched in the face. My under eye is extremely like bright and luminous from that powder and it's just not for me, but you know, Everything isn't meant to work out. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And as always, thank you for watching. Oh,